okay so i'm making a little video here to compare the echo 280t that was bought in 2017 2017 and uh, my, my my steel fs250 that was bought about three weeks ago Alright, so I have had this for a while and this machine, the Echo 280T, uh, it's 28cc, 28.1cc, uh, long run time, I've had little problems with it, like minor problems where the carburetor at one time, it wasn't really the carburetor, it was more likely um, the, the hose coming from the, car, from the, from the tank, uh, apparently he had a he had a he had broken so um at, at one time uh the carburetor wouldn't get gas so the machine will will struggle and eventually it will die right but i fixed that i got that fixed i cut the uh, uh i didn't cut, change the hose what happened is I, I just um i cut the hose and cut the hose from where it was busted and that um solved the problem carburetor I've cleaned the carburetor about three times. About three times. I think right now the carburetor needs a cleaning. But hmm, can't be bothered right now. Because it's been sold. And also the dry shaft. The dry shaft is a flex cable. And uh, the, the original dry shaft that came with this machine had broken about a year ago. Broken. Changed it, put in the next one. It wasn't a new one, put in a, a used one, and same flex cable. It broke again in, in a short space of time. And then I uh, decided I wanted to be more robust, and uh, I went around and shop, check my small engine repair man, asked him what is the best solution he can do for me, and I told him I am fed up the cable being bust because the machine the engine has a port the engine this is very powerful very very powerful <coughs> right and um the in the the dry shuffle literally snap every time so right now there is a a solid solid dry shaft in this machine right now solid dry shaft so right now the the head is getting the direct power from the in, from the engine and um back then with the the cable dry shaft the uh, the machine will 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 tremble when it gets when it's under load it will tremble all of a sudden and that wasn't nice it will it will, it will dance around the, the dry the tube will dance around because the flex cable it's is not is not steady in there it dance around but right now the dry is there the solid dry shaft in there it have the machine running from with all the power going to the head and it cuts flawlessly fine lots of power all right compared to this this is the bad boy this is the bad boy the head in this is the is the torque so that means the um the engine will run at a higher rpm and down there will spin at a lower rpm whereas with this <coughs> Apparently, the head is spinning directly as to how the engine is sending to the head. Alright, so you're getting direct all the power from, the, from here to there. So, so yeah. So this machine is a nice machine. I like it. It's strong, it's steady. And um, the only thing I don't like about this machine is that it's heavy and gas. It a lot of gas. But in some areas where depends on where you're cutting, depends on where you're cutting, you don't need to be in to the the, the, the the throttle. You don't need to be heavy in the gas. You know, you could probably go to quarter throttle to half throttle to three quarter throttle and that will be enough power where you can cut depends on what grass you're cutting. Alright. So I decided uh, I wanted I have this machine for approximately four years and I decided I wanted to um to upgrade and I went and I get this. 
right this this machine is 250 if you realize it's not um this machine came with um the, the handle right the handle the bicycle handle but i didn't like the handle so um i had them convert it to the loop handle in the stove and this is why you see a 250 with the arrow and it has a loop handle okay yeah but this machine is a uh, thirsty but this one you can do a lot of work with this machine a lot of work if you have this machine and your comfortability keep it you don't need an upgrade once your machine is working good you don't need an upgrade but well, for me i think that i had this machine a while and um i think i did i needed to to move on to something else something more robust a bit this machine is steady i'm surprised with this machine this machine will just keep working it will just keep working and it will never bog down it will never bog down in whatever grassy bullet in whatever length and line it has it will never bog down this machine is a beast we comp compare to this this is a powerful machine too as well but um i'm still getting used to it i'm i'm still getting used to it but let's see where we go from here well, i'm just comparing them to a little bit but more likely giving you a, re a review on the long term of this machine right this is a steel compared to the, the e steel fs250 compared to the echo echo 280t right so um normally machines will can last you a long time you, will, you can have the, the power from them for a very long time and all you need to do is service your, your spark plug and never ever change the spark plug in this machine all i did I have, I have took it off cleaned it gap it put it back and good to go this the uh, the cover the, the the filter the air filter um clean the air filter many times um uh, wash it with um with soap and water put it in the sun to dry good to go once again this one new still I've never really, really experienced much with it. As for now, I've cut some bush, but it's good. All I, all I know I can see is that it's heavy and gas. This, you can do, do a lot of work with it for a longer period. But this is heavy and gas. Right. So this is of the, the 473 Hustler. Um, if you think you like that video, you can subscribe to my channel, you can like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you.